a conservative MP has threatened David Cameron with legal action if he doesn't remove pages from the government's main website arguing for EU membership in the run-up to June's referendum. Bernard Jenkins said the Prime Minister could expect a writ if pro-EU pages were kept on gov.uk in the four weeks leading up to the vote on June 23. He said he had taken advice and been advised that would be against the law. Mr Cameron said it would be rather extreme to take a whole website down. The clash came as the Prime Minister answered questions about the EU referendum from the Liaison Committee of Senior MPs and set out his reasons for believing the UK would be better off and safer in the EU. Perda period. The home page of gov.uk website, which sets out details of government information and services, contains a hard link to a controversial government website setting out the benefits of the EU membership. Mr Jenkin, a prominent Leave campaigner, said the government intended to keep all the pro-Remain pages on the gov.uk website during the 28-day PERTA period leading up to the EU vote. During this period, strict limits apply on ministerial activity and the publication of publicly funded material arguing for either side in the upcoming referendum. Mr Jenkins said he had been told keeping the pages would contravene the Political Parties and Referendum Act, which governs the conduct of referendums in the UK, as it was abundantly clear that an electronic communication of the contents of the website amounts to publication. Mr Cameron said the government would be taking its own legal advice, adding, obviously we must abide by the law in every way. It seems to me the right thing to do is to make sure that if there is a government website, it is not refreshed or updated during the PERTA period. But I would ask whether it was absolutely necessary to take something down. That would seem a rather extreme position. In response, Mr. Jenkins said. If this does not change, expect a letter before action and if we can raise the funds, expect a writ. Battering Ram. Setting out his big bold case for remaining in the EU, Mr. Cameron said it helped the UK win in the world, arguing that the EU was a battering ram which helped the UK to secure better trade deals. Mr. Cameron said the UK has always had a special status in the EU and his recent renegotiation of the terms of membership would both protect and enhance that. The question is can we get better arrangements than the one we have now? I think the answer to that one is no we can't, he said. As Churchill said we are not of Europe but we are with Europe. Let's have a status which reflects that. I think we won't get that from the outside where we can get it on the inside with this special status we should build on. The security benefits of remaining in the EU had not had enough attention, he said, while he sought to address concerns about the future enlargement of the EU, saying Turkey joining was not even remotely on the cards. But veteran Eurosceptic Sir Bill Cash said the PM could not guarantee that his renegotiation was legally sacrosanct and would be enshrined in a future treaty change, saying the public was being offered a false prospectus and the PM was trying to get away with things. Mr Cameron rejected this, saying those who wanted to leave the EU desired a status outside the single market and the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice which was not attainable.